If you've used Prompt Builder before, you already know how it lets you design prompts that guides your AI in agent phase. But what if you do something more from the prompts? Like fetch live data, trigger a business process, or perform logic that's already defined in your system. Well, that's exactly where Flows and Apex come in. Keep watching this video to see how you can use them in Prompt Builder. Hello everyone. I'm Shrey Sharma, your Salesforce Hulk. In my last video, I told you everything about Flex Template. If you have not watched it yet, I'll link it up here in the i tab. So let's dive right in and break down what are Flows and Apex in Prompt Builder. Flows are the easiest functionality in Salesforce. They are the no-code method to automate any business process. Think of them like a sequence of steps flowing one after the other like fetching data, updating records, sending emails, and so on. Apex, on the other hand, is the programming language used in Salesforce. When you need more control or custom logic, that's too complex for a flow. Now with Prompt Builder, you can actually call a flow or an Apex class directly from the prompt itself. This means the prompt will not only just generate answers, it will also trigger real backend logic. Let's take a quick example. Suppose you're building a prompt that answers a customer query like What's the status of my recent order? With Prompt Builder alone, the AI might generate a general response. But if you plug in a flow that fetches the real-time order data, your AI will provide a more dynamic, accurate, and personalized response. So instead of just generating text, your prompt becomes a bridge between AI plus automation plus live data. Let's look at this whole process live through a demo. We will use a business case where a service agent wants to view a summary of all comments on a case assigned to them. Now in this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add the cases summary onto the vehicle customer record. All of the cases that are associated with the vehicle customer uh, that are going to be summarized and added back into the case summary uh, field, which is there onto the vehicle customer uh, record. So in order to do that, first uh, we're going to do uh, like uh, build a prompt uh, template and that prompt is going to be of type field generation and uh, the name of the same is going to be case summary and it's going to be onto the object vehicle customer and the field is going to be case summary and in, inside the prompt we are going to write down uh, the prompt template and uh, over there we are going to use a resource uh, that is an apex class that we've already created into this org and I'm just going to show it to you, uh, I mean what all is there into that apex class. Uh, that apex class is created basically to uh, get, the get the data of all the case records associated with that vehicle customer uh, record on which the prompt is going to be called and uh, that is going to pass on the information to the prompt and then this prompt is going to uh, utilize that information and summarize uh, all of those case comments or not the case comments but all of the case records and uh, add the information or add the response into the case summary field which we already have onto the vehicle customer record. So now we'll go to the resource and here the uh, here is the Apex class that we've already created. It's a global class, vehicle customer case fetcher. And uh, there are invocable methods and everything that we've already created over here. And this is how it's going to fetch all the related cases. And this is how the response is going to be created in a, in a string format or in a text format. Now over here, we'll just go to Apex and uh, select get vehicle customer cases uh, Apex class. In all of the prompts that we have uh, created over here, the model type has been standard uh, and uh, the model that we have used is OpenAI GPT-4 Omni Mini. Inside the prompt template, we are going to write down based on these cases, generate a brief, easy to understand summary in bullet points. This includes the case subject, its status and when it was created with an example output as well. Now we'll just save this prompt and uh, see the preview by adding a related record. Now this prompt is calling, calling the Apex class, uh, fetching all the case related information and then summarizing all of that information and providing uh, the information as an output uh, that we have presented over here as, as an example output. The cases of this customer are brake light mal malfunction, car engine red light. Now we'll go back again to the vehicle customer uh, record and we'll just edit the page or the page layout. We'll just upgrade it to dynamic forms. And for the case summary field, uh, we're just going to add the prompt over there, like this. We we'll choose the prompt template, and we already had case summary over here. We'll save it, go back onto the record, 
at the case summary field hit the prompt now after hitting the prompt it will call the apex class get all of the case records uh, some the pro and then the then it will pass it on to the prompt and then then the prompt is going to summarize it and provide us the result like this and the same is what we can use in the case summary field and hit save that's how you can call an apex class inside a prompt now in this demo what we're going to do is uh, we're going to call a flow from a prompt and uh, using that prompt we are going to update the case ai summary field which is there onto the case object uh, which is again a text area field so the first thing that we would want to do is go into the flow builder and create a flow and we'll start from scratch and hit next this is going to be a template triggered prompt flow because uh, this flow is going to be triggered by a uh, i mean prompt template it is going to take automatic inputs and uh, the name is going to be and the type is going to be field generation template cap capability and the object is going to be case now we'll get the records uh, in the in this flow all the case comments uh, that that are attached to that particular case record is all what we want to fetch so for the same uh, we're just going to like set parent id equals related entity into case and we'll hit all records then we'll add a decision the name of the same is going to be comments found if the outcome comes as yes the output can come as yes or no in yes we'll check case comments is empty false that means there are case comments onto that particular case record and the other one is by default going to be no that means there are no case comments onto that particular case record now if the uh, if there are case comments we are going to add a loop the collection variable is going to be case comments from get case comments and for each case comment we are going to add prompt instructions now summarize the cases comment and in the no the prompt instruction is going to be no comments found the case has no comments to be summarized and there you go you have your flow ready which will name as get case comments and we'll just hit save now another prompt template field generation case comments summary we'll select the object case and then the field case ai summary where we want to summarize all the case comments now in this prompt uh, we are going to use that flow or we are going to call that flow i'll show you how now over here in the resources we'll get case comments flow and we'll call this flow over here in the prompt template like this and now after saving this uh, let's just test it on any case record hit preview and here we got the response the case involved a vehicle that reached the service center repairing of the vehicle commenced at 1 pm subsequently the vehicle was prepared for delivery the vehicle was handed over to the customer at 6 pm all the comments summarized over here now we'll go to the case edit page and we'll add the prompt uh, in front of uh, the case ai summary field like this einstein generative ai case comment summary and we'll just hit save Let's go back to the detail page and edit the case AI summary. And hit the prompt. There you go. Now you can hit use to use the same information inside the field or to save the same information inside the field. Uh, a little bit extra words over there. We're just cutting that out, and we'll just hit save. So that's exactly how you can call a uh, or, or a prompt template of uh, field generation. That's it for today's video. If you want to learn Agent Force and get hands-on, check out the upcoming Agent Force training by S2 Labs. I will leave the link down in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and share it with someone who might need it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Liked what you saw? Well, there's a lot more, and I can send you a curated playlist of trending topics, Salesforce updates, and training essentials. Join our newsletter and get your weekly package of exclusive Salesforce content. straight to your inbox the link is in the description don't miss out